Hey guys, JJ here. Wanted to do a quick video about video proposals. Um, I think they're very important and uh, I'm confident that if you start utilizing them, you'll see uh, a lot of success with them. I've been doing this for a little while now and uh, they've been great. They've done two things for me. They've helped build a rapport with clients much faster than just phone calls or emails or text messages. Um, they've set me apart from other agents out there. And number two, it's helped uh, cut down the amount of time about talking about the proposal and about the coverages. Um, sometimes you get some clients that want to do a lot of what if scenarios. This helps to cut that down quite a bit. Um, my videos average about five to seven minutes. I review the coverages. I review uh, any added benefit that the carrier might be, any, be able to offer. And then I usually wrap it up with, if you have any questions, you can email or call me. Um, but if you understand the coverages uh, fully and you want to move forward, please reply yes to the email. Uh, most of the time, I just get a yes reply, and if I do get questions, they're very targeted questions, so we don't have to do, again, a lot of this what-if scenarios. So I utilize Loom, which is a great app. I love it. Um, it's very easy to use. They have a free version that I think gives you up to 100 videos per month. Um, so if you're using any, if you're utilizing it for any more than 100 videos, you may want to look into the paid version. Uh, otherwise, free version works fantastic. Uh, they also have a library uh, that holds your old videos. Um, so far, I've been doing this since September of 2019, and all of my videos are still in there. So works really well, uh, really easy to use, and they have a lot of tutorials that you can you can utilize in order to uh, uh, fix it uh, or, or go ahead and run proposals with it. So uh, what I also want to do right now is I want to do a mock proposal for you, uh, mock video proposal. Um, we're going to use, this is an actual proposal that I had for an insured. Um, they didn't go with this particular policy, but we did AOR the policy over, and a lot of it was based on just this video proposal. They like the fact that we took that I took the time to do the video for them to explain the coverages. Um, even though they didn't move forward, they did send us their their current policy, so we brought that in as an AOR. And I just wrote a, another frontline policy with them for another home that they're buying. So uh, on top of that, I also do their business insurance. And again, uh, I would say a good 95% of that uh, just came from the fact that I did a video proposal, I took the time to do it, and they felt like it was uh, it was relationship building as opposed to just trying to uh, build my numbers for for uh, for commissions. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this again, just like it was a video proposal. Uh, I'm going to do the coverages. I'm going to refer to some of the benefits. Um, I may even talk a little bit about the carrier themselves and just like some personal things that I think about the carrier. Uh, you are obviously free to go ahead and, uh, you know, within obviously truthful and ethical uh, lines, uh, make this your own. But I definitely would recommend that you go through the coverages and you explain the coverages so that the insured can understand it. There's not a lot of agents are doing that. And I think that's what's going to also help set you apart from other agents. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So here we go. Uh, Mr. Homeowner, thank you for the opportunity to go ahead and review your homeowner's insurance for 1234 Roehampton Close in Tarpon Springs. Um, I ran this through our uh, market uh, to do a rate comparison, and Frontline came in with the most competitive rate. Um, uh, I personally uh, enjoy working with Frontline. Um, it's a great agent experience as well as client experience. Uh, they're probably one of the top three in writing companies that I deal with. Uh, and they're definitely one of our top tier carriers. So uh, glad to see that they have made the most competitive offer for you. Uh, first, I want to talk about the dwelling coverage. So the dwelling coverage is based on uh, rebuilding your home. 
uh, this would be from the foundation up. So if something were to happen where uh, you had a complete loss and the home were completely leveled to the foundation, the carrier could pay up to $879,500, uh, minus deductibles, of course. So the way that we came up with that number is we ran what's called a replacement cost estimator. Um, it's an architectural piece of software where we run information from the property appraiser and uh, sites like Zillow and Realtor.com if they have information on there. We put that information into the replacement cost estimator and it produces a number to again an estimated replacement cost for your home. So that's how we came up with that number. All other, uh, all other coverages typically are related to that number uh, typically in a percentage. So you may see some uh, similarities with that. Uh, other structure coverage, other structure coverage uh, pertains to uh, structures outside of your home that's not permanently affixed to the home. Now it would refer to things like fences, sheds, and detached garages. It does not refer to shrubs or trees. So in this case, the carrier could pay up to uh, $17,590, again, minus deductibles, of course. Uh, personal property. Personal property is anything not permanently affixed to the walls, floors, or ceilings inside the home. So what this would include is this would include appliances, this would include furniture, uh, personal property like clothing, dishes, towels, and in some cases, it may even include carpeting because that is not permanently affixed flooring to the home. So you want to make sure you take that into account. Uh, the carrier could pay up to $439,750 for that. Loss of use coverage. Loss of use pertains to if you were to have a claim and the house were uninhabitable while it is being repaired, the carrier could pay up to $96,745 for you to find new lodging. So this would be renting a new home, condo, uh, staying in a long-term hotel, that type of thing. Personal liability and medical payments coverage, I would like to talk about those together because they pertain to the same thing. Um, this would be a person who's coming on your property who might be injured. Um, if they were injured, the carrier could pay them up to $5,000 for their medical expenses. And if they were to hire an attorney and file a lawsuit against you, the carrier could pay up to $500,000 in liability coverage for that as well. So there is an inflation guard of 4% of the dwelling. So what that means to you is the carrier is taking into account that there could be inflation every single year, um, up to 4%, and they will increase your dwelling coverage up 4% each year. Um, so that's why it's also important to make sure that we're reviewing this at least once a year so we can make sure that we have the proper coverage on here for you. Um, some of these other coverages are very typical for uh, other carriers, uh, your limited fungi, wet and dry rot, bacteria, uh, that's pretty common coverage for all carriers. Uh, in this case, we have uh, $10,000 uh, property, uh, $50,000 uh, other property. Uh, ordinance of law, we have 25%. As you can see, we have personal injury coverage included and personal replacement cost coverage included. Um, we also have water backup coverage of $5,000, uh, a screened in enclosure of $20,000. So this would be the screen over your pool. Um, we also have a step down deductible credit. I'll talk about that step down deductible a little bit later, um, later on in, in the video here. Uh, deductibles, you have a 2% hurricane deductible. So that's 2% of the dwelling. That's standard deductible that we see on most policies and you have a $2,500 all other perils deductible. Um, that would be for things like fire, lightning strike, tree falling on the home, um, anything that would not be considered a named storm, like a tropical storm or a hurricane. Uh, what I'd like to do real quick is now I wanna review the step down deductible for you. So this is pretty unique for Frontline. Um, this is what's called their step down deductible. Uh, this is pertaining to 
the hurricane deductible and what this states uh, in general is the fact that starting day one of the policy, um, if you were to file a hurricane claim, the carrier could pay back up to 5% of your hurricane deductible. So again, a 2% hurricane deductible um, can, can be quite costly, but the carrier starting day one could pay up to 5% of that back to you. Now, if you were to go hurricane claims free for up to six years, you could receive 100% of your deductible back if you had to file a claim for hurricane damage. Uh, again, one of the unique features that Frontline offers, and I love the fact of when I can offer that to my insureds, because again, 2% of the 2% hurricane deductible, which is 2% of the dwelling, uh, can add up to a substantial out of pocket uh, for for clients and it's not something that I'd like to see happen. So when this gets offered, I'm really happy. Um, that is the coverages. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to call me on my direct line, which is 727-228-2795, or you can reply, to the question, uh, reply your questions uh, to this email. If you understand the coverage completely and you wish to move forward with the policy, just reply yes to the email uh, that this is on, and I'll be more than happy to get this started for you. Again, Mr. Homeowner, thank you very much for the opportunity to help protect what's important to you. Have a great day. So guys, that was it. Um, as you can see, I'm not absolutely perfect with any of my videos, but again, it's something that not other agents are do that other agents are just not doing. Um, as you can see, I flubbed that one. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely going to put you into a different category. And I really think that, uh, if you do this and do it consistently, you're going to see more and more people, uh, responding well to it. And it's going to build your book of business and you're going to be really successful at it. So one last thing I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you, um, how my, emails look for these video proposals. So typically what I do here is, uh, I'll go ahead and move this over. So um, I have my email set up. So I have signatures set up already. So if this were going to be a homeowner's video, I would just hit my homeowner video proposal and it automatically pops up with this. So I'm gonna add their email address, the subject. I usually put homeowners insurance review um, slash uh, video proposal. Um, I attach the proposal to the email. And then as you can see, uh, below is a brief video review of your homeowners proposal. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, for further review, if you understand the coverage and wish to move forward uh, with the policy, please reply yes to this email. And then right here is what I usually do, and it, I know it looks a little silly, but it works, is this is where I'm going to link the video. So once you start using Loom, Loom will show you how you can get that video link, but I just go ahead and I right click, I hit the link button here, uh, because there's no link, obviously there's nothing there, but if you were to click the link on the Loom website, uh, you would have a link right here that you could just click and it would automatically happen. So again, guys, I can't stress enough. This is a great way for you to differentiate yourself from other agents. It's a great way to help cut down on time uh, dealing with what if type scenarios. It will set you apart and it'll definitely uh, make you uh, successful uh, in, again, setting yourself apart from other agents. So hope this is helpful. Thanks very much for watching this long drawn out video. Uh, and uh, as Doug says, dream big, make it happen.